Hello everyone. So in today's lecture, we'll be discussing about sourcing and syncing concepts in PLCs. So basically, syncing and sourcing concepts are uh, with respect to the direction of current flow. So as we all know that the direction of current flow is from higher potential to the lower potential. See here, if you observe, so the here we are having a positive terminal and here we are having a negative terminal so obviously the direction of current flow will be from higher pot higher potential that means positive terminal to the negative terminal the type of current that is sinking or sourcing is called the conventional current flow conventional current flow always flows from the positive potential to the negative potential obviously okay so next here we are having a sinking Sinking means what whenever any device if it is absorbing the current or if the direction of current is inward to that device then it is what we call as sinking device okay so the direction of current is inward basically to it can be any PLC's terminal or any of the device then it is what we call as sinking the conventional current actually flows into this sinking device obviously obviously because it is flowing into that means it is absorbing the current that is why it is called sinking device similarly if you talk about sourcing it is acting as a source the source device is acting as a source of current it will be providing a current to any other device then it is what we call as sourcing so the conventional current flows out of the sourcing device right if you talk about plc's then uh, there also comes syncing and sourcing concepts in input modules so basically if you uh, plc's actually in plc's plc controllers operate by receiving a variety of information basically it can be a digital signal or analog signal but here we are taking a digital sensor which is acting as an eye for the plc's input module so basically input modules will be having many terminals so on which the sensors will be connected okay so basically for any sensor to be connected to the input terminal of the plc there must be at least two terminals okay so one will be the main terminal to which the sensors main supply will be connected and another terminal will be the mm, common terminal right so whenever the sensor is sense whenever the sensor sends some uh, object or any other thing then it will change its its state and plc's input model will come to know that the object has been sensed by the sensor okay so here we are taking an example of proximity sensor so whenever the object comes in front of the proximity sensor uh, it will uh, send a signal to the plc's input terminal one type of information is a signal from the sensor that functions as a plc's eye okay so when the sensor detects something the sensor the sense Sir switches on to tell the PLC that it has sensed the presence of any object. So obviously the sensor will tell the PLC that it has sensed the object. Now here we'll be looking at see if you observe here this is our input module and this is our PLC CPU. Okay, so CPU will not accept the direct signal from the sensors. So basically this input module is acting as a intermediate between the sensors and the plc cpu right so first of all an input module is used by the plc to perform following functions okay so first of all if you look at see what are the functions we'll be looking provides a, a terminal to which obviously basically input model will only provide a terminal to connect any sensor see here if you are having this many sensors can be connected to the in this module okay so there may be uh, may various sensors so here we are connecting to the third terminal of the um, plc's input module right so here uh, whenever the sensor will be activated whenever the object comes in front of sensor so the led will glow see here if you see uh, this is connected to the third terminal this sensor is connected to the third terminal so if you observe first second and third the third led is glowing whenever because the sensor is sensing the object now the 
provide interface between the field device and the processor basically input module will only provide an interface between the field device and the plc cpu right now basically if you observe here it is uh, having an indication so the third point is the same the turn on the led indicator that shows if the sensor is detecting any object so whenever the object is in front of the sensor the plc is in uh, input indicator will be turning on see here this is a red color of light okay now uh, again if you talk about the modules it can be again categorized into syncing and sourcing module so here we'll be looking at what is syncing and sourcing module so first of all if you observe here here we are having a target target is basically the object which will be moving in front of the sensor here and the sensor will be switching okay so here if you talk about we are talking about the syncing model okay so here there are various uh, terminals present so here we are having this common terminal and this is our main input terminal of the plc if whenever the object come in front of the sensor the switching will take place and the 24 volt supply will come from here this current direction will be from here to the input terminal okay so basically whenever the object is in front of the sensor the switching will take place this open contact will be getting closed and the current direction will be from higher potential this is our higher potential so and this is our ground potential so here the direction of current will be from here to here see if you i activate the sensor see here this object has came here and the direction of current is from so basically the direction of current is inward to the this terminal this main terminal okay so this is what we call as uh, sinking similarly if you observe this sensor this sensor is basically acting as a source of current for this input model that means becoming the source thus sensor is becoming a source of current and this is basically accepting the current so this is what we call as the sinking input device and this is what we call as the sourcing device this is acting as a source of current for the input module okay now if you observe here this is our sourcing concept so in case of sourcing concepts if you observe uh, <clears throat> this is again our common terminal and this is our main terminal okay so whenever the sensor will sense any object okay so the circuit will get complete because this will be getting closed and this negative will be coming here and already this common terminal is getting power supply from here that is 24 volt so that circuit is completed and uh, see here what is happening the direction of current is from higher potential to the lower potential here and it is going into the sensor basically the input model is becoming as a source of current because the direction is kind of direction of current is outward from the plc's input terminal that is why it is what we call as sourcing module similarly if you observe here the so the sensor is accepting the current the sensor is accepting the current means what this is sinking sensor okay so sinking device basically the sensor is a sinking device and the input module is acting as a sourcing device okay